Some of the most common questions I get in the comments on my Streamlabs videos are troubleshooting type questions like my streaming isn't working. That's pretty much it. My stream, it, it won't stream, it won't broadcast to anywhere. So in this video, this is the ultimate guide to troubleshooting the most common issues that you find on the Streamlabs app, whether you're on iOS or you're on Android. So let's get right into it. Well, let's hit the elephant in the room right off the bat. The most common question I get is, I can't go live from my screen. My screen live isn't working properly. I hit live and then it doesn't go live. It doesn't go to my Twitch. It doesn't go to my YouTube. So let's dive into that one first of all. Usually the most common thing that's going on here is the user has forgotten to go into the correct section of their app to pre-set up the live to tell it what platform to go to and to give it the title and description required, especially on the iPhone. We're gonna walk through this right now. So in your menu, you wanna click on screen capture. You'll get this pop-up that says, where do you wanna to broadcast to? You can select your platform. For me, I've got Twitch and YouTube, I'm gonna pick one and then it will ask for some additional information. And then we'll get to this screen here, wanting the title of the stream and the description, which is an optional thing, of course. Once I fill that in, I click save, and then I can go out and do step two on iOS, which is the following. I now go out, I pull down to go to the control center. I find the screen recording option, I hold, and then I get this screen up. I make sure I select Streamlabs, decide whether I want my microphone to be on or off, and then click start broadcast. And then that should count down and connect. You should verify that using another device, maybe checking your Twitch or your YouTube or wherever you're streaming to, just to make sure that's getting through. Then you can just navigate out and start playing your game or whatever it is that you're screen capturing. You should be good to go. That is a very much iOS specific issue. So that's the elephant in the room, especially for recent times. So I wanted to cover that first. The next most common thing is people forget to make sure that they are actually permitted and have the live stream enabled on the platform. This can particularly apply to YouTube because if you've got a very new account, you may not have verified your account, which enables live streaming. Now you don't need a thousand subscribers on YouTube to live stream with Streamlabs. That only applies to the YouTube app and streaming from that app. But as long as you've got live streaming enabled, now on YouTube, you have to wait 24 hours when that's enabled initially, wait 24 hours and then you should be good to go. So make sure that whatever platform you're on, you've gone through and done whatever verification is required to make sure that live streaming is enabled on your account. Having covered those two very specific issues, let's look at some broad range ideas of what we need to do to troubleshoot if we continue to have problems generally with the app, whether it's crashing or something else. So there's things you need to do. Now these often apply, can apply to iOS and Android at the same time. You'll see some walkthroughs as I talk about these things. The first thing you could do to troubleshoot issues with the app is to log out of all your platforms completely. So basically log out of YouTube, log out of Twitch, everything you can do and log completely out and then come back along and reconnect your account. This is particularly helpful maybe for the live streaming permissions one because it may not see or get that information from YouTube or Twitch or wherever to know that you are actually enabled for live streaming. So that can help with that one in particular. That's a general helpful one, but let's take it up a notch now. The next thing you wanna do is make sure that your phone has got enough RAM or memory available to not only run your stream, but also if you're streaming a game to run that game. So what you wanna do is on an iPhone, you want to take your finger and swipe up from the bottom, just on the right hand side. Just hold your finger down until all the little apps open up in the window. You'll see any open apps. All you have to do is just swipe each app up and it disappears. Just like you can see in the examples on the screen now. You keep doing that until they're all gone. You can even do that to your Streamlabs app before you start so that you're working with a freshly open copy of Streamlabs. To do that on the Android phone, you can of course hit the three bars at the bottom and you'll get a similar thing going on with all your apps lined up in a row. You can swipe them up as well or there's a close all button there which closes out all the apps loaded in memory. So that's a win-win for both iOS and Android. 
Now the next level thing you can do is to shut down your device completely, just power it down and then reboot it. So it's just basically a restart of your phone. That can help just clear out some some gremlins and some, some niggly little things that are happening on your device, just to give it a, a fresh, like it's like starting up your Mac or your PC fresh. It's like waking up in the morning and having your first orange juice or coffee. Uh, it's, you're fresh and ready to go for the day. Now, you wanna go next level. The next thing you could possibly try, if, you, if none of those other things have worked for you so far for whatever the particular issue is, you want to uninstall Streamlabs completely from your phone. You should know how to uninstall apps or whatever device you have, whether it's uh, iOS or Android, and then go to your App Store or to the Google Play Store and re-download a fresh copy of the Streamlabs Live app. All that advice pretty much goes for any app that you might have where you might be having issues with it. So you can walk through and deal with any issues that happen on your mobile device when it comes to getting an app running optim optimally. How can you say that? Optimally. So you've tried all the common troubleshooting tips. What else can you do? If the app's not working for you after all those things, I would then advise you to go and maybe use another app for the time being until maybe there's an update or a new release for the Streamlabs app. So you can try Prism or StreamChamp. I did a video on alternatives to Streamlabs Live. You can check that in the description below and it's also gonna be in the end screen of this video. So stick around for that. Now, if you find that the Prism Live is working for you or StreamChamp's working for you and Streamlabs isn't, we know that it's either one of two things. Is that version of Streamlabs is not running well on your device for some reason, or your device itself has some sort of limitation around what Streamlabs is trying to do. Now, I'm not saying that it's either or, but sometimes low-end devices, particularly in the Android side of things, you could you know, pick them up and uh, they're not well suited for high powered things like playing a game and streaming at the same time. They might not just have enough oomph in the Exynos chip or the or the Snapdragon chips that they're running on. It might just it might be an older model model phone and is just not cutting the mustard. So consider getting something a little bit more up to date than especially if it's a few years old running an older version of Android, you want to get something that's a little bit more modern or fresh. So these things that you can consider, these are last resort stuff and aren't going to help you in particular with getting Streamlabs solved if there's an ongoing issue, but changing your device could make a world of difference if you're getting stuck at that point. So they're the most common troubleshooting tips I can give you today. Now there's gonna be specific things that pop up from time to time. I can also recommend you go check out the Streamlabs Live FAQ for their mobile apps where they just hit some common things and explain sometimes why things aren't available. If you wanna see a video about why Streamlabs for example, can't do overlays in iOS. Let me know, we'll uh, make a specific video about that. Just, just drop it in the comments. Well, I hope this video was helpful to you. Make sure if you like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't clicked the subscribe button yet, what's going on? Click the subscribe button. This is Doug from Doug Houston YouTube. And I'll catch you later. Subscribe to Doug Houston YT for more tech for content creation.